What's up, everybody? I am doing my review a little earlier than usual simply because I got decimated today. <clears throat> I had a comically bad day. Um, but it's all right. I mean, we'll just have to have a better one tomorrow. Not the end of the world. Um, I am a little disappointed in myself personally because I had many opportunities to just recognize that you know, my style, my strategy, my method is just, um, it's not a good day for it. It was a lot of pop and drops before, you know, rallying back up to then drop, to rally back up to drop, right? And that's actually like a, uh, when things aren't staying in trend, when they just are high and then low, uh, that's when my strategy suffers the most, uh, simply because there's, you know, zones fall out i don't play downtrends so I, you know i don't take an opportunity to add down here in most cases and then once it comes back up to established trend the next pullback is another drop uh, so that is something that you know i should have addressed and and realized probably right away and um and i didn't i didn't so that's a little unfortunate but my first zone was a uh, 7.23. So it would have been right here. Oh, wait. Or right here. This is where price was when I called out um, 5.35 to 5.25. And as you can see, um, it ran up here to high a day. My PT at the time is actually just going to be right here. And my stop loss is going to be uh, slightly below VWAP. It's actually 510, but 5, yeah. Uh, so as you can see here, though, um, oops, price did come and fill me beautifully. Um, met resistance right up here. Came down, traded sideways in the zone, always a good sign. Um, and then, boom, one one candle to, to immediately stop me out. Uh, I considered really adding at the uh, base of five, but you know I didn't want to chase or revenge or anything like this. So I, I watched and I waited, and then I saw this action again, and I was like, okay, well, it's tired. We'll just wait into the open. So that was my first loss on the day, even though, you know, idea-wise, it was beautiful. Um, came up great uh you know great pullback zone right here with good upside potential um you're looking at a 25 30 cent move and uh and it just fell out fell out immediately um or i mean it fell out down here as it, it never even really popped out and uh you know i i don't take profits as soon as i'm green or anything like that um, you know, this is about a 10 cent move. I could have been like, okay, that's good enough. You, you, but, you know, I have these zones and these targets uh, and stop losses on purpose, you know. So if I don't allow one of the two to be hit, then, you know, my plan is not worth a whole lot. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Uh, let's see yep so just going through the discord right here stopped at 15 10, or 510 figured it fell below VWAP it would snap to 5 uh, which is right here and it did essentially um, you know since that was kind of where I was was basing the strength as soon as it as it broke that and didn't you know immediately bounce back up there's no point holding it for the rally up at this point you'd already be 10 cents out of the money it's better to just cut your loss short and get a better entry and take another ride if you really wanted to but um i said we'll look to re-enter at five and then two minutes later i said yeah i'm not playing this just watching um let's see what was next pr p 
P-O. PRPO was 809. Okay. So at 809 would have been right here. In this range, which you can see here. 809, I said uh, 6.5 to 6.4 on PRPO, I will watch. And uh, it did eventually come down here to this area, to this zone to fill. But once I'm about 10 minutes out of the open, um, you know, this would have been a, an awesome trade, obviously, right? Um, but when we're this close to the open, I immediately scrap everything. I scrap my bids. Um, I don't, you know, it got to about here. And then as it started to dip, I was like, okay, well, it, it, you know, it could have continued action but there's a good chance that it goes into the open and just tanks, right? So I just don't, I don't chance it. So I ended up not taking the play there, um, which is a shame. And then at 8.38, I said PSTV. As you can see, uh, just from looking at these charts, the more continued tanking, just pop, drop, which is the uh, is the rock to my scissors for sure, as, as I've said in the past. Um, trend strategies are, are weak to pop and drop markets, and today was just it was just like that, you know. There was uh, every it was up, down, up, down. It wasn't you know continued action at all, so that was kind of a shame. PSTV 329 to 316. This was at 838. 329. 316. So, so up here. Yeah, of course. Up here in this range. I said 320. I'm sorry. 329 <clears throat> based off of this candle here to 318. And I'm sorry, 316. That makes more sense. So it would have been based off of this wick here. Here and here, you can see. It did come down to fill. <clears throat> it actually came down right here, filled me in full, and wicked back up. And I said, okay, great. That's usually a good sign of people buying up the dips. And it came up here to 3.4. My profit target was actually at right here. I wasn't holding for high a day, just high of the run, you know? That way I could, you know, get up into this area, start to reassess at the 3.5, because that would have been a beautiful trend, you see. Right here, up, right here, up. Oh, man, that, that would that would have been gorgeous. So, but I didn't take any profits here. Maybe I should have, but, I mean, it, it was only in the money by about 16 cents at that point, um, which is, a you know, a decent trade. But, again, if I start taking profit, before my profit targets or, you know, not allowing my stops and my profit targets to do what they're supposed to do, then, um, you know, then, then you have a hard time with, with your plan in general. So um, that was my zone here. As you can see, quite a wide zone. But um, the good thing, though, is, is that my stop was so tight because we had VWAP and the 20 up here. So I put my stop down here at the 310. Because I knew that if it if it managed to cave through the the entirety of this zone, which incorporated a pre market high, and the VWAP and the twenty, that I was for sure out of the move. So I put my stop right here. It went up here, and then immediately one big candle tanked me. 
And because it was, you know, stop losses fire market orders as soon as they're triggered, you know, it actually ended up filling me like down here. So my 10 cent stop loss turned into like 17 cents or something like that, which, you know, it happens. Uh, you can't get too upset about those kinds of things, but, um, you know, is unfortunate, is unfortunate for sure. Um, had I waited maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe started trading at nine, I could have let these moves establish themselves a little bit more. So that was my next big loss on the day. Uh, unfortunate. So at this point, I, I had taken nothing but <laughs> nothing but losers. Um, yep, stopped out of PSTV. Whack. PRPO, we went back to. Oh, shit, this is way wrong. There we go. So PRPO at uh, 848. So right. 848 would have been right here. Oh, that, that, that's not the right day. It can't be. No, it is. 848. I gave a zone that was really low. That's pretty surprising. So at 848, so right up here in this action, I said, I want 768 to 74. So this is what I was watching uh, at this point in time. Now at the time it was halted. So you can see this gapage right here. Uh, or area that had halted previously. Yeah, yeah, and I said seven down to six, four, eight. And then it traded up like this. I moved up my zone to, uh, to accommodate these. Um, sorry, I'm trying to see if I if it was pre-market levels or what. Yeah, 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 so pre-market levels here at the seven, four. And then right here, the seven, six, eight was the uh, yesterday's high. Um, usually pretty respectable zones. Uh, but again, just the sentiment of the day was... Um, it came through here and it filled me a little bit. Came back up, came through, uh, filled me. My stop was again pretty tight. Actually, it was just a set at the seven because, again, if it would have had to have forfeited all the price action of my zone, which was the top was yesterday's high, the bottom was pre-market high, it would have had to forfeit the trend. It would have had to cave through VWAP and the twenty. So like all of those are like yeah. If all of those things managed to go wrong, then I for sure. I'm cool with being stopped out because that move's not going to work. You don't have all of those things, you know, cave and, uh, you know, go wrong at the same time and the moves still be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> so, um, you know, putting that stop loss here ended up being about, I think it was a 40 cents. Um, it came down and it actually stopped me out right here. I think this one, no, no, it was right here. It was right here. So, but yeah, it's, it stopped me out. I actually think that it didn't stop me out, and I ended up selling. I think that I ended up selling like 708 or something just because I knew. I was like, all right, this is, uh, when you see it like this, I'm not trying to hold back through that. I mean, that that's ugly. So yeah, I ended up uh, getting stopped out again. So it was another loss, unfortunately. Um, that was a rough one. Uh, BLRX, which was my... Uh, nemesis today <laughs> I mean look at this price action dude this is this is literally the complete opposite of days that I succeed is when things look like this and if you go back to see the day I did really bad last week it's almost the exact same thing almost the exact same looks I think that was Wednesday of last week or something um, and that's the issue there right is that it shouldn't take me this long and a lot of it's me being stubborn where I I'm just like, no, no, I have today off. I have to make something work. You know, I, I should have just realized while I was read a few hundred bucks as opposed to, you know, 1,200 or whatever and it ended up being at the end of the day that, um, you know, today's just not my style of day. The The sentiment of the market doesn't match what I'm good at. Should have go, go play video games, go to sleep or something, but um, that's something I have to work on. I, I still struggle with is knowing uh, being so competitive and knowing you know when to just take a red day while it's still small um so definitely have to work on that at 850 
I said BLRX 546 to 535. And so, so right here in this range. I said 546 to 535. Another situation where my profit target was up here. And it came down to fill me. I mean, and this looks like a great move right here, right? Like this, oops. This looks like an incredible move, you know what I mean? When it comes down like this and wicks, and then immediately goes up here. And then tanks. And I uh, actually think my profit target was probably six because I didn't sell. I ended up taking a loss. So here's a, here's a good situation. I could have immediately had a profit target of something more realistic, 575 even. Uh, instead, I had it. I, I must have had I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, maybe I had it at the top of these wicks, and that's why it didn't get filled. But either way, I got really close. And then boom, in the same exact candle that took us all the way up here, we get killed. Uh, my stop loss was again right down here at 515. I do remember that uh, because again, we're going through pre-market high or pre-market levels. We're going through all this previous price action. Um, we're crashing through VWAP. We're crashing through the 20. At, at that point, I am happy to be stopped out. Uh, and unfortunately, I was. So took some L's, my friend. Took some L's. Um, yeah, I said perfect zone touch. And then immediately after I said, well, that sucks. I said, your boy needs some W's today. I'm getting papooed on. <laughs> and I was, was. So at 9.08, uh, I said, okay, maybe I'll watch BLRX 5 to 485. So... So right in this range. This is where price is at at the time. Well, probably not. Probably down here. Yeah. And I said, I will watch five down to 4855. Five. Down to 485. And that the reason for that was, you know, this is where significant pre-market support was um, on the 485. And uh, five, obviously, the psych level, the whole dollar was pretty instrumental um, earlier in the day as well. You can see and this candle is based off of it, these things. So uh, it did end up coming down. And my stop was really tight. It was really tight on this one. It was since these were the pre market lows. If it was breaking down below pre market low, uh, I knew for sure that I wanted out of that move. And as quickly as it filled me, it immediately stopped me out um, for another loss on the day. So yeah, that was, uh, you know, and that move was a bit chasey. Uh, wh when you see these, I mean, you know, looking back on it in hindsight, I'm kicking myself because like this is a telltale sign of you, you come back in 20 minutes, come back in 30 minutes and see what the action looks like. Because even if it does, you know, on the slim chance that it springs all the way back up, um, you know, does that mean that people will take profit again and it'll just collapse even harder? Like, it's it's no longer a, a good a clean trend at that point. So yeah, I more or less broke my rule on that one. Oops. So like right here, right? This is the trend. At this point, you expect it to do this, but what does it do instead? It breaks through. So trying to play it right here for the pop back up, probably not in hindsight, probably not an amazing idea. Um, as you can see, it just sold off further. It actually went all the way down to 4.4 .4 or something like that, uh, which was unfortunate. I did, however, end up taking... I didn't call this one out because it is uh, it was kind of a YOLO, to be honest. Not a, not a move I'm proud of, but a move I got lucky in. So at the tra break of this trend right here, uh, as it popped through, actually, you know what? I think it was like this. Yeah, it was. 
So I had the trend right here. Assuming that the break of this trend for the, um, yep. Should have been right at 474. Yeah, right in that range. So assuming that the this action here above this line is due to this significant volume, and then it just came back to trade in the, so if you just cover up this area right here and pretend it's not there, right? It looks like it's respecting this trend correctly. And sometimes you have to you have to do that and think that like, okay, this insane volume is what drove it over this. Let's call that a, uh, oops, sorry. Let's call that a, a one-off or a, um, you know, an oddity in the situation. Um, and once you get rid of that and, and look at what it's doing outside of that situation where it was filled with insane volume, it's trending down. So anyways, that's how I drew that line. Uh, I ended up adding it at 474 um, right down here. I think uh, Revel at 47 or something like that. But uh, I added it here at, four, at the 474 to see the break of, uh, of the 20 since it was trending up. We got right here a lower low. So I was like, okay, yeah, maybe it, it moves to VWAP, right? That's a 30 cents or whatever. I'll consider, you know, either adding or or, or addressing what I want to do at, at the reaction of five. But it ended up just going, uh, it just meteored up, man. It just went all the way up here. And I was like, oh, awesome. And I sold. And I was like, hooray, I'm at least a little bit back in the green. Now, this huge move here was actually enough to wipe away like half of my losses on the day with just this one trade uh, which is great right it was great but um you know we didn't stop there we ended i ended up setting a zone five six down to five five for the break because this is at this point you can see here a high a day rally chance we were like two cents off of the high a day uh, four, four cents off the high day. Yeah. So, uh, I was like, all right, well, this is a, you know, a, a nice little flag right here. You look at the five and the 10. This is a nice little, uh, nice little consolidation pattern on this whole area right here. Uh, on the five and the 10, it looks like it's, it's going to come rest and, you know, it's got a significant pop. We're, we're way up here close to the high of the day. People are going to want to get in on this move. We're going to buy the dips. And they did, right? And it, it would come down, and it would shoot back up. And it would come down, and it would shoot back up. And again, I was, um, you know, 30 cents in the money, 20 cents in the money at one point, And I could have taken profit there. But, you know, I was holding for the high of the day. You know, had I just realized what kind of day it was and... Um, I think it was right here at the top. Um, once I re I should have just realized what kind of day it was and that, you know, my price targets needed to be lower. I needed to take, you know, 40 cent moves, 30 cent moves and be like, cool, that's it. I need to start claw my way back instead of trying to make back my whole day in two or three trades. So it definitely um, got punished. It immediately came down here and stopped me out. So um, back to the losing streak we were on. Uh, I ended up not trading BLRX for the rest of the day. At this point, I, I ended up going and just taking a nap. And I did miss the uh, the eventual action of it coming up. But you can just see every time that it would rally up, just crash. Rally up, crash. And that, that's just so um, opposite of what I need to see in the day. I, I can't see this up and down sideways. I need to see continued diagonal trend-based action. Like at this point... Great trend, right? Um, cool trend, but boom, immediately caved out of it. And that's like the only real clean trend on the day that this stock had. And I had already given up at this point. I had already taken my L's on the day. Um, COCP. Sorry, I, I kind of did all of my BLRX at the same time, so that's okay. So we'll go back to a little earlier in the morning. I actually think COCP, I had a, a W on on this, on this move. I just can't remember where. I think COCP was like the only thing I ended green on the day. Um, PR, 9-11. I said, 
one eight three to one eight one eight three to one eight real tight zone my stop is actually I think it was down here one seven um because you can see obviously if it if it managed to come through that you're forfeit in this trend right here it's uh trending down at that point and it ended up filling my top bid um and i took it to two just because i was i was in with such small size i ended up only getting filled on my very very top bid which i think was like a couple hundred shares or something uh and i took a a little win right there now i did end up um calling the next zone of two down to one nine four yep so based on uh maybe it was one nine three actually i think it was one nine three so i ended up calling this zone here um uh, which ooh which as you can see price came down into beautifully and filled me and then i was able to take it for a more extended move i think i ended up selling or scaling out here at this consolidation but honestly this should have been the ticker i focused on all day because um you know there's no point in in trying to make everything work if there's one doing exactly what you need it to i could have taken this sold and added or added to the winner and then add it to the, I mean, there was multiple opportunities where you, you could have, you know, eaten up pullbacks and rode, but I was so, I don't know if I was being stubborn and trying to make the other tickers work because I was red on them and I wanted to be green on them or, or, or what, but um, yeah, I should have just watched this the entire day and traded nothing else, especially after my morning had gone as bad as it did. But I ended up selling, um, I ended up doing another, yeah, I said, we, uh, Oh, it was two to one nine five. I see it here. Two to one nine five. So, got filled in full right there. Real, real good zone. Uh, the next one was TYHT. <laughs> I mean, you can see that all of these tickers have a have a a similar look to them, right? All their charts look exactly the same. Just, you know, buying up the pullback to get pff, stomped. <laughs> so I said 16, this is at 923, so it would have been right here. In this range, I said 16, 1 to 15, 8. Uh... And then I ended up getting filled. And on the same candle that I got filled, I got stopped out at the uh, action down here. I think it was actually right there based on the low of this, the, the halt gap fill area. Uh, so yeah, I ended up getting stopped out. And again, my market order ended up topping me out closer to like the 1525 range. So another loss at this point, they're just mounting up. I can't, I couldn't buy a win at this point. Um. Looks like I already did the BLRX ones. Oh, okay. So I did one more COCP. One more COCP before I ended the day. Um, it was at... I hate when the candles look like that. <laughs> there we go. Um, the last one was going to be... At 10.28. So right up here. Right in this move. Oops. I called my zone and I said... Two five to two four two. Two five to two four two. Now it did end up coming down and filling two of my four bids here. 
Um, and then I said in chat that I'm taking profit at 2.8. So this ticker I had one with on all my trades on it. All my trades on this ticker, I did well. I think I went three for three on this ticker. And my ass says in the Discord, I'm going to take profit at 2.8 so that I can focus on BLRX. Which is a ticker that I had lost on every single play. I think I was one in five on that ticker today. So, I mean, it's it's just so obvious in hindsight now, but I gotta really just do a better job of of just identifying that. Like, there was no point to, to and I say, I say it to people all the time, which is you know why it's uh, such a such a pain in the rear uh, to be so stubborn because. I always say, don't try to make tickers that aren't working for you work for you. There's no point in doing that. Just stick to the ones that, even if it's one ticker a day. A couple of weeks ago, I was taking one, two trades a day because it was such a bad market. And, you know, maybe that's what I need to expect going forward. Um, at least on days like this, I, I could have definitely stopped the bleeding. But, yeah, it was, I was trying so hard to make tickers work for me that, that I had no business trying to make work for me. Um, there, there was no point when this was performing. I was off chase. You know what it, it's like? It's like when you have a uh, when you have an amazing uh, girlfriend or something like that, and or a, 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 an amazing friend that that you know you could see yourself marrying one day, but instead you wanna you wanna go for this this chick who's just awful to you you know what i mean it, that's how it feels that's how it feels i don't know if it's a if it's a um you know some kind of masculinity thing where i was like nah i'm gonna make it work ain't nothing get the, nothing gets the better of me but it did <laughs> it, it definitely got the better of me so instead of trying to beat the tickers i could have just gone to the ones that that were that were doing well with that i was doing well with instead of trying to to um, to strong arm the ones that had gotten the better of me to show them who was boss, I could have come over here and, and chilled with my homie. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's important to to remember that. And you know, it, I, I feel like an idiot saying that now because I obviously didn't all day. But um, uh, but yeah, pretty pretty rough. Pretty rough on, uh, as you can see, if I, I don't even know how many losses I had today. A lot. <laughs> I think, B, uh, actually, the um, THYT and BLRX were, if I didn't have those two tickers, I would have been really, it would have been a, a really solid day. But those two tickers by themselves just crushed me. And uh, by the time I realized it, I was significantly in the red. I said, I'm not even, it's not even bothering, I'm not even going to bother trying to fight my way back out of this, because uh, I pay commissions and stuff like that, so it's an uphill battle. Uh, I could have taken my loss at a much smaller red day, and instead I took it at a, at a significant red day. Um, and, you know, that's just a, a lesson to be learned, and hopefully me doing this review will pound it into my head a little bit better, because uh, it's definitely one of the areas I struggle with. But... I hope that that helps anybody who's watching. Um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, feel free to DM me. Hopefully I did a little bit better job today. My mind is still a little foggy. Um, but, you know, tomorrow is going to be a better day. And if it's not, um, you know, I hope that I do a better job of, of, of realizing that it's not a lot sooner than later. Uh, but I will see you guys again tomorrow. I'm always in Discord, DM me, Twitter, whatever. Um, love to hear from you guys. Um, all the people who are, you know, telling me that you know they've, they've started to incorporate my system and it's helped them or whatever that that means a great deal to me i, I really I, I love hearing that i know that you know it you know being on the on the side of of people who have been trying to reach out to people who are it's like wow dude you really helped my trading i know that it, it feels like you're being annoying or at least it did to me but i i can assure you you're not man I, I love hearing about it so you know do not think that you're bothering me um if i'm too busy to respond i just i'll, I'll respond later uh, it's really that easy um you're not bothering me so i i love to hear about it especially on days like this uh, please tell me that you guys did, did better than i did uh, but yeah have a good one guys and i'll see you tomorrow